What's up guys? So the battery died on the way home from the gun show in the GoPro. So sorry about that. Nothing exciting really happened though, it's just a ride home. Typical ride home. But now we are going on a nice little ride because it's a really nice day. Thank you, sir. To a uh, graduation party. College graduation. Of an old friend of mine. And then I might go hit the back roads um, outside of my little hometown. Close to the border, there's some dirt trails, some dirt roads over there. Um, I haven't been in a long time, so I don't know how regulated it's gotten or if it's been, you know, sealed up or what. But there's a couple trails that I used to ride on. My dad used to take us to with our dirt bikes when we were young. And then there's also just regular, like, uh, gravel roads. They're not street roads, so I can kind of just cruise on those. They're a little bit funner. But yeah, I thought I'd uh, moto vlog a little uh, question that I ran into the other day on a stick of five hour, or five gum, that five gum. Which if you had the option, working on the bike, if you had the option to travel the world, or travel somewhere in the world, for one year, would you leave your loved one to do that? That's a tough one, man, because I mean, it's, you know, once in a lifetime thing, everyone's got a hobby that they want to do, so, why would you pass it up? And I don't know if this is the party. This, this is it. So we'll get back to that. You guys think about that. When I get back on the bike, we'll check it out. What's up, guys? Alright, the weather has changed quite a bit since I was riding. Back to what we were talking about. My little cousins. To go somewhere and it's either a one person thing or they don't have your signature another doesn't have the time to take off. Do you go on that trip without them? Especially if it's like a year. If you if you're gonna leave for a year to go travel the world or travel somewhere and experience something in your life. Would you do it? It's risky because, you know, a year's not a long time, but it is for a relationship. It can be struggling. I, uh, my, my seven year relationship, uh, almost three years of it was spent long distance. And it's tough, man. It takes a toll. Uh, it's not for the faint of heart. And even after that, you think, you know, if you make it through that, you can make it through anything. Even after that, you know, the relationship didn't work out. So it's tough making those decisions and missing out on opportunities for your, so yourself. But I'm wondering what, what you guys have done if you were in this situation or what you would do if you were put in that situation. Um, and in my opinion, with what I've seen in my small time on earth in my life so far, um, I would say not to miss out on opportunities like that. Because a lot of people go through their lives and get too caught up in the things they're doing that maybe they, you know, that aren't bad but something they couldn't experience on their own that they truly wanted to do maybe when they were kids or planning out and they miss those opportunities to ever do them. So like I'm not going to miss out on those opportunities while I can. But, you know, at the same time, if it's someone that you know that you want to spend the rest of your life with and you don't want to have anything get in between that and the possibility of doing that, you know, you may think otherwise. Alright, let's see if I can find where I'm trying to go because we're getting closer to the hills. But yeah, let me know what you guys would do. 
I think it's an interesting topic. So yeah, this this is the backside of Imperial Beach, close to the Tijuana River Valley, close to Mexico, and there's some uh, back roads over here. So see if I can go get myself in some trouble. Problem is, there's a lot of horse horse tracks too, and. Uh, um, they don't want dirt bikes on them, and I, I honestly don't either because it's you don't want to scare a horse that someone might be riding That's really dangerous. I know some people have gotten seriously injured on horses So like here, there's a lot of horse tracks and stuff So I'm gonna try to make sure I'm not on like a horse trail if I find a trail But I still want to have a little bit of fun on my bicycle and see what we can find see right there that's a trail looks like yeah there's horses on it damn it I might go back and check it out in a second but this dead ends over here let's try out these 50 50 tires puppies how's it going got a couple cars up here probably walking around there's got to be somewhere I can go where there's not horses out right now you guys can't see it but I could see like three or four people on horses right down there on that trail Everything to my right, past these houses in that little area I went in, is Mexico. All up those valleys. Everything on those hills is Mexico. The sun came out. Hey horses. Horses are awesome, man. My brother's girlfriend owns a horse that we keep on my dad's property. Really cool animals. What's up? Come here. Come on. Mm hmm. <laughs> he doesn't recognize me with the helmet on. Come on. Come on. There you go. If you've never ridden a horse, I recommend you do so. this right here authorized vehicles only border patrol sit up there in here look at there's cars in there right now all this area I used to ride around in these trees back here but someone's back there right now who's back there I know someone's back there saw the car. We got a dead end over here. Well, Hikers Paradise State Park. Oh, look at this. Here we go here next time. Wastewater treatment plant. Ooh. Where I live, the sewage is really bad. It comes out of Mexico. Hey, doggy. So that's probably no good. See, there's a BP right there. They'll literally just sit on the tops of these little valleys. <laughs> All this like eerie looking car just sitting up there watching you. Yeah, I think, well, yeah, see, 
see him right there. So yeah, he might even come down here. I gotta find some spots that I can ride in though, because it's so close to my house. There's no reason not to. Funny thing is I can get right through that if I wanted to. It'd be really easy. What else is over here? You know what they say, if you turn your music up loud enough, you just act like you don't hear them when they yell at you, you just keep going. Just going somewhere and I see some people, I just keep going. Honestly, the people in there are probably riding. That's what I'm hoping. Because we used to ride in there a lot when I was young. Ooh, this is slippery. Woo! That is freshly wet. Oh, oh, oh. There's a fence right there. All right, let's. Turn off the music so I can hear the cars coming. And ride a little bit more. Well, these tires do not do well in sand. That's for sure. Damn, look at all the trash. It's freaking nasty. Ooh, ooh. Deep little dump. Galore! God! Hey, it's Wilson! You guys see all this trash? Holy shit! It's crazy. Alright, let's turn around because that's too tall to go up. Try to turn back up one of the little dirt spots and go back up into the woods where I know where the trails are. I thought I'd go down here and check it out though. Oh, not likely to follow me down here. Just be waiting for me when I get out. Then they're gonna check me for drugs, and uh, technically they can, because I am technically breaking the law coming in here. But I don't care. They can check me. I ain't got shit. Because I stashed it. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Woo. Sliding. Just keep that front wheel straight. That's all you gotta do, let the back do what it needs to do. Go back and forth. Keep that front wheel straight. And you're set. Oh, it's right there, it's right there. God damn it, I passed it. Right. 
We're gonna have to line up with this sucker. It's so, it's so puny. Look at me struggling. I just don't want to drop it at all. There's something over there. Someone's waiting for me. Ooh, mud. This is where I used to ride. Little circles like this. Oh, there are riders. Oh, he's a border patrol. How's it going? Not too bad. I'm guessing I shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> Sorry about that. I actually used to ride around here when I was young. I was just looking at it, kind of filming it. My dad is an agent. He used to take us here and ride, but just yeah. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Well, I'll get out of here if, right, yeah. if you want me to. Yeah, I don't want to. Okay, yeah, understand. Well, I appreciate you catching me. I'll get out of here. All right, appreciate it. You guys take care. Be safe. What a nice agent. They were quick though. <laughs> Woo. Look. You just gotta be, you know, I mean, don't be nice if they're not being nice. Because, I mean, they're, they shouldn't act like they're any higher than you as a person. They're an agent, you're a civilian, but they're a civilian too. But if you're nice, usually they just, you know, they just tell you to get out. <laughs> oh. They were quick though, man. They were on it. I'm out. <laughs> Oh, but funny.